Hey you guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be showing or teaching you how you can create some plastic like text like so we have in the preview. Now it looks as though there's some reflections going on and as it's been like suppressed. Uh, it can be used quite effectively. Uh, you can obviously modify it to your own way. Um, but no, let's crack on. File new, uh, 12 by 720, that's fine. Uh, just I'm not the background because I'm OCD like that. But if you hit D on the keyboard, it will bring black to your foreground color and white to your background. So just go ahead and fill that in black. And if you hit X, it will change, it will alternate between the, the yeah, foreground color and background color. So now it's going to create some white text. Good little shortcut notes there. Now this whole tutorial is going to be pretty much based on uh, layer styles. In fact, everything's to do with layer styles. Uh, so it's going to center up this text here. There we go. And it's going to right click and go to layer prop, not layer properties. My bad. Blending options. And it'll bring up the layer styles box. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to add a color overlay. Uh, you want to choose a light blue, but I'm using. I would like to use what is it? I think it's 58 uh, D3 FC. There we go, a light blue. Obviously, you can use whatever color you like. It's my pre personal preference. And I could just add an inner shadow. Change it from black to. From black? Yeah, maybe change it to like a dark blue. Quite a bit darker, deep, more, a bit more deep blue. Um, distance. Just going to. Size. is a size. There we go, that's looking alright. So I've got a distance, I'm gonna lower the what about lower the distance? Distance on like eight, size on thirteen. That should be good. Go to Bevelin and Boss. Uh, we're gonna go to the depth and crank it up to 140. Uh, the size up to thirteen. Is it thirteen? Of oh, 20, create 20. I could always go back and change it. Uh, that's, I think that's about it for structure. Uh, shading, change the altitude to 60. Uh, but the gloss contour, you want to go ahead and click this button here and go to contours and click append. And then you want to go and click that button again and go to large list. And it'll bring up all these properties here. And you want to go to ring triple just there just before halfway up and it should create some kind of funky looking text so if you want to go if you now um, get onto the highlight modes but on the black black uh, black section you want to lower the opacity to zero so literally there's no black um, we can now go into the contours just create a contour uh, the contour will create a shadow shallow slope valleys not valleys, valley and the range to 75, 100 uh, crank up the range to 100 um, yeah, and tick that box so go ahead and click OK and you can just duplicate that layer Control J, Command J or just drag it down into the new layer tab down there but despite it being copied, you want to work on the original copy. Well, the one in the middle anyway. The one below the copied one. And you just want to add a stroke. So under the stroke, you just want to change the size to 6 pixels. And the colour, you want to create a dark blue. So maybe a bit too dark. You could maybe use the eyedropper tool to get in the shadows. There we go. That's, that's, that's an alright colour. And if you go back under the bevel and emboss, you can change the bevel so it just applies to the stroke as opposed to the text. So change the style and go to stroke emboss. But you want to change the contour again to shallow slope of valley. Like so. And you also want to crank down the depth to like 40. So it maybe gives a bit of, so you can actually see the white like reflectiveness on the outside. But that is coming together rather nicely. If you just go to actual pixels, there you go. That's looking quite cool. Uh, what was, and you can also do whatever kind of setting you like. Size. In fact, I will, I'll just cancel that because that's on the bottom one. 
better to the top one. Maybe the just messing about with these here. It's size. Just mess about to see what looks good, you know. The depth. That's like really. Oh, that's quite. It's quite nice. Actually, it's kind of softer 3D text. That's like minimal reflections. It's quite cool actually. Quite like that effect. Just kind of more subtle. Um, just messing about with these here. White. You can crank up. You can maybe add a bit of black. So a really little bit, just so maybe creates a bit of contrast. But no, I think that's about it. Uh, you can use it to your own settings as you see there, them two are quite different, that's like a lot of reflections, that's minimal reflections. I just changed it there by going to the bevel and the boss and it was a size I changed. Was it the size? No, it wasn't the size. It was, I'm just going to cancel that. It was the depth. So if the, the, the higher the depth, you know, the more the reflectier it's going to be. Reflectier, it's not even a word. Uh, the more reflective the text will be, uh, if you create it quite low. Uh, it'll be minimal reflections, 52, that's quite nice. But no, that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned something from it. Uh, please remember to like this video if, if, it, if it helped you in any way, which it could well have done. Um, subscribe, yeah, if you like tutorials, if you haven't already. But uh, just gambling on here, gambling on, blah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll end this tutorial right now. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.